Hi guys, this is Yash from Unleash the Phones and I have here with me the Nokia 808 Pureview. Uh, I'm going to give you a quick demo of the web browser on this 808 Pureview which runs Nokia Bell Feature Pack 1 and as you might be aware, Nokia Bell Feature Pack 1 has a new version of the web browser, version 8.2. Now let's take a quick look at what all the basic features of the web browser are. Uh, when you open the app, you can either have it go to your predefined home page, uh, any website which you want, or you can have it display this uh, screen, uh, which is the most visited sites, which displays six thumbnails of the sites which you visit the most. Uh, I find this to be more useful than going to any predefined home page. Let's take a look at the address bar. Now, what you have is a very basic default address bar where you can type the URL of the website you want to visit or you can type words uh, if you want to search for them you can just type them and uh, this search for option gives you one touch access to search for those words on Google or Bing uh, along with that your it also automatically displays three websites uh, below the address bar now I haven't been able to find any pattern uh, according to which these websites are pegged so uh, probably some random order used over here um, along with that once you start typing it will also show you results from your web history uh, suggestions so that you can easily and quickly go to that URL that's with the address bar at the bottom you have the bell nav bar which has a back and forward key this is to navigate, uh, navigate in your history when you're browsing you have a bookmarks icon which shows you your saved bookmarks along with the bookmarks uh, you have one tab uh, so I clicked on the bookmark so it's taking me there let's go back to the bookmarks tab yeah over here you also have an option to see your most visited sites which will again show you thumbnails for six of your most visited websites and uh, it also has a history view which will show you your history uh, grouped by days at the bottom you also have a uh, trash icon which I believe will delete your entire history in one go. It's a nice option. Uh, now my, react my experience with the history tab has been not really uh, good because as you can see scrolling to the history tab is very slow and it lags a lot for some reason. go back and yeah there you have it let's open the website after the bookmarks tab you have your uh, tabs view which will show you your open tabs if you have only one tab you can see one uh, you can only see you'll only see one tile and along with that you also have an option to open new tabs now, this was one feature which was requested in uh, Symbian for a very long time this will introduce a few versions back. Uh, there you go, you can open a new tab and go to a different website. Then using the new tabs option, you can again view your open tabs and switch between tabs. It also allows you to close your tabs now. It's a nice quick way to exit all the other tabs if you're not using them. Uh, other than that, you have your settings. Uh, there are also feeds, I'll take a look at them later. The RSS feeds, you have a search on the page option, basic and easy enough. A page info which displays your URL and whether the connection is normal or secure. There you go, settings, uh, let's take a look at what all settings we have. Uh, the general settings, you can set your access point which you want to use, you can set your home page. You can have your back button uh, either take you directly to the previous page or show you thumbnails of the last few uh, last pages which you visited with that tab. You have web address suffixes which can be used, uh, which are offered to you when you're typing the URL in the address bar. A few security options. Uh, in the page option, as you might be aware or not knowing, the Nokia Symbian browser it features flashlight support flashlight 4 I believe 
uh, with this load content setting you can either disable images in tag image in, is in flash or you can disable images and yeah you can block pop-ups you can stop some websites from automatically reloading and you can change your font size and uh, you also have privacy options where you have an option to disable the browser from saving uh, your history altogether you can have it also by default it features saving your form data and password so that you can be prompted to uh, enter those automatically when you're on that page again uh, otherwise it's all basic stuff you have a clear privacy data option to clear your cache cookies or history or all together and since this is an HTML5 enabled browser you have your location permissions uh, these are the websites which I have enabled to access my data and uh, that's it for the Nokia build browser as I was telling you, this is the Nokia browser version 8.2 on Nokia Bell feature pack 1. Uh, in my experience, I've found this browser to be a decent browser, which works good enough. Uh, this page actually performs better than what you were seeing there. I'll end it with the HTML5 score. Apparently some issues, but uh, this browser scores 226 points on the HTML5 test along with 9 bonus points. So there you have it, the web browser on Nokia Bell, feature pack 1 and Nokia 808 Pure View.